the A-STAR ID Labs was established in April 2021. The mission of ID Labs is to be a global player in infectious diseases. So among these diseases such as the vector-borne infections, respiratory diseases, now the rising threat of antimicrobial resistance. All of us have come from different institutes within A-STARS. We were there in separate entities before, and now we have come under one umbrella. So there are many joint labs, and similarly, there will be new labs, new groups who will be joining ID Labs soon. We collaborate within the ID Labs with each other, and we also collaborate with other institutes. In science now, collaboration is everything. To absorb from others, to learn from others, because that's often the fastest way to understand what people really care about what are the problems in the field. Everyone has their own unique skill set. Nobody has everything that they need to complete a project most of the time. Actually, Peru is also a tropical country, so we face this kind of infectious diseases from time to time. So I was very interested in learning about the pathogens biology, and I managed to get an internship through one of the scholarships that ASTAR has, and then I really enjoyed the environment in the lab and also Singapore in general. And then I thought, okay, this is a good place for me to stay for four years and do my PhD. I'm really lucky to be able to be part of a like-minded community and a really thriving research community. I actually didn't do a master's, I went straight from undergrad, so it was a very steep learning curve for me, going straight into PhD life. When I reflect on it, I've really learned a lot. As long as you're open-minded and you're willing to embrace the challenge, you'll get through it more resilient as a scientist than a researcher. Research is always a roller coaster. You invest a lot of yourself into the experiments. It comes with its soul-crushing moments when you do something to be true for the first time. That can be very exhilarating. Pathogens are becoming smarter and smarter. Infectious disease researchers have to come up with new arsenals novel approaches to curtail infectious diseases and to target new pathogens and even to prepare ourselves for the possible next pandemic maybe. In general, research is very competitive and I think Singapore is well placed worldwide because of the quality of the researchers they have. They have all the support from the government to get state-of-the-art facilities to work with and these help us a lot to make more impact discoveries. So over the years, I have recognized one important thing is that everyone is different. And each one comes with their own expectations, their own set of skills, and also their own capacity. So as a mentor, I think we need to recognize their strengths and to help them overcome their weaknesses. As Science is International, we are really interested to work with and partner or even recruit researchers from all over the world you will be looking at things that are very, very relevant. This is where we are seeding the research questions and the expertise for the future. How are we going to be prepared for the next disease X?